Okay, um, here we are again with one other project that we got going on, my son and I. Um, we're going to be building a uh, hexacopter. And um, why a hexacopter? Um, you know, I feel that it would be a good experience to build something like this. And um, I feel that someone told me once, you know, the bigger, the easier it is to learn to fly this thing. So I feel why not big? So I went as big as I figured that I could go. Um, as you can see, um, I have boom number three, which is actually go from side to side. This thing is about four feet long. Okay, and uh, that's about the diameter of this thing. It's gonna be pretty big. Um, I've already pre-cut everything and labeled it with numbers. Um, that way it's easier to put back together. I just wanted to kind of like get the video started and um, show what I got here so far. Anyways, all this stuff, uh, part of it is the hardware store, which is this stuff here, and some other stuff, uh, like the motors and this stuff here, um, is from eBay, so I bought uh, pretty much everything on the internet and, and locally. Uh, anyways, I got here uh, some nice spinners uh, for my props uh, that are actually, I'm undecided, these are 8 inch props and uh, I think this is going to make it pretty stable if I go, it decided to go this way, but I think they're too small, uh, so I decided to go a little bigger. So I bought this um, 12 by 6 EP props, which is certainly much bigger, but they're singles. So, you know, it's going to be a different uh, performance and everything. It's going to be a, a little um, a little different anyway. So, but anyways, this is as far as it goes with the props. The motors um, are 750 kV motors. Um, the RC timers are about $10 each. And um, it's the BL2830-14. Uh, and um, I mean, like, all this stuff uh, came from Hong Kong, so I have no idea if it's going to work right or wrong, or I have no idea. Uh, made in China, but I, I figured that why not give it a try. Um, I got my 30 amp um, ESCs here for the motors. I bought six of everything, as you can see. These are also about 12 bucks. 11 bucks 12 bucks these motors were like I think it was uh, about $12 each uh, free shipping I got this battery uh, indicator here it tells me when my battery is running low uh, it's got a buzzer and it's like four bucks um, I got my uh, my power board here I'm gonna put a lot of LEDs on this thing so I really want to fly it at night and I want to see how it looks this thing costs five bucks on eBay my uh, KK multicopter uh, board here I mean super tiny it's the six motor board there's actually one out there with that supports 12 motors and it's about hundred and thirty dollars and I'm not gonna go that high in price so I bought the $25 one this one supports six motors which is all I need up to eight actually but it supports the the amount of motors I need anyway uh, I, had a, I have a prop balancer here with a cheap one finger one to balance my props if I have to that way my bearings don't get ruined on the motors. Uh, let me see what else. I decided to buy uh, an autopilot um, from um, Rev Electrics. And this thing is actually pretty cool because it lets you let the, the this aircraft, really, um, it lets it stay nice and, and, and flat in the horizon. It doesn't move or you know, it stays nice and level when when you're actually flying it especially i never flown one of these things so i don't want to crash it and you know put my work to to waste so i bought this thing it cost me 67 dollars and i actually think this is pretty neat uh just keep in mind that when you install this stuff um it's got sensors uh and what it does is that it detects the heat and the horizon it detects the heat on the top above the earth and it detects the heat down on the earth and that's how it keeps the aircraft leveled okay uh, this is actually a pretty cool little thing uh, for $67 I mean it's got a computer just be sure that your aircraft is balanced and um, adjusted right before you install this thing just be sure of that okay anyways these are the booms each one has uh, landing gear what I did and as you can see this is not created by me I just 
what I did is that I bought a kit that had all this stuff and cannibalized the pieces I wanted from it. It was going to be cheaper to do that, you know, buying a $50 kit and start taking pieces off instead of having to manufacture stuff that's going to come out on, you know, um, really bad, you know, it's just, you know, it's not going to look right. So I figured why not do that? So I bought a $50 kit um, and took the pieces off I wanted. And as you can see, I mean, it came out uh, different here. Let me just get the other piece I got. This is one of the uh, booms that came from that kit I bought. Uh, as you can see, big difference. You know, it's almost half. And now this is going to be four times bigger than this thing. So it's going to look really nice. Now these plates, I cut them out of fiberglass. Um, it was not a challenge. It was actually pretty easy. As a matter of fact, I just made a circle out of a square piece. And um, and I actually uh, lined them up, taped them together, and drilled the holes for the booms and lined them up. I made them uh, 60 degrees apart, okay, because it's six booms. So um, it was pretty simple to do that. Just calculate the thing using simple math, and you should be able to get yours the same way. I labeled mine. That way I know where the stuff goes. Um, anyways, if we move a little further... Down. actually one more thing these things here I actually found them today which I thought were pretty cool I'm gonna use this for my landing lights and I'm gonna put them all around right on the bottom of these plates that way when I'm flying at night I can turn these things on and it's gonna look pretty nice um, I mean it's gonna look like like a flying saucer I think um, uh, anyways I got six of those I got resistors I mean I got the whole shebang um, so I have my son move over here. We got more stuff. Um, now, these are the things that I bought. This is the raw material. This is how the circles, the place started. And this pretty much you could give it any shape you want. I mean, this is nice fiberglass. It's thin, it's light. And essentially, you could just go and give it just any, any type of shape you want and cut it and sand it and uh, there you go and then you make your holes and you'll be able to to have a super light frame and then you connect the booms and it doesn't matter what you get either carbon fiber or aluminum i wanted to use i wanted to to use carbon fiber but um with my reading and i've actually learned quite a bit with this stuff carbon fiber tends to interfere a little bit with some of these controllers so i decided not to use carbon fiber um it's lighter but I figure why, why, you know, I don't know how high this thing is going to go, so I really want no interference at all. And aluminum was the way to go in my case. So um, I have uh, nice rubbery stuff here for uh, dampening of the vibrations. I bought a bunch of little stuff here, 35 cents, at the local hardware store. I mean, I got a bunch of nice little pieces to give it a cool look. <clears throat> I got more dampening stuff in here. Um, it's got the glue in the back, so, you know, it's cheap stuff, 40 cents. Um, I got all kinds of nuts and hardware here. Now, I don't have um, a preference in what kind of standoffs I'm going to use or anything, but as you can see, when I went to the hardware store, I figured why not buy all kinds of stuff and have enough of these things <clears throat> to be able to uh, pick what I want. And make this thing look the way I want it instead of having to run back and forth. This stuff is not very cheap, but it's not very expensive either. I think I spent 30 bucks on all this stuff that I got laying in here. Um, and, you know, essentially, you know, I got cable ties. I got, you know, the base for the multi-copter that came with the kit. This is actually part of the other kit, which I cannibalized. I mean, as you can see, this is very tiny. Um, I'm going to keep these things. Um, and I may just put them on eBay for five bucks or so. And sell them to someone that that cares to deal with something smaller. Um, anyways, I got all kinds of goodies here. This is for going to be for my for my cabling. That way it's nice and tight and not all over the place. Even though I like cable ties, but, you know, 
I like this stuff to look very very professional um, and I really want to do this uh, with my son in a way that's gonna look really nice at the end that the product is gonna come out really nice anyways that's about all I got um, I think oh one more thing this here um, they're the motor mounts and I'm undecided whether I should use this thing or not because it's not really necessary I think it has just weight to the to the aircraft and I don't think it's really necessary they're light so I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna drill more holes on the thing or not um, anyways uh, that's about it um, I mean let me see I got yeah these are all um, just cables that came with the, the stuff I have a few switches here um, to be able to turn the thing on and off I haven't purchased the battery yet so uh, I'm just waiting to run a an amp test on those motors and see how much how much current is being drawn by each one of them and see how big of a battery I need to put on this thing um, anyway one kind of cool thing that um, I forgot to mention it's a uh, this little spring here um, gives it a nice landing if if I was to drop you know the aircraft a little bit which is pretty cool because when when it lands this thing will go like that and uh, that's pretty cool you know I just bought these springs cost me a dollar and uh, just drilled a hole and uh, put them just like that and then the little tires were already part of the the kit I just bought so anyway I thought that would, that would be pretty cool and uh, it helps the landing and not ruin the electronics if you you know crash lands or something but anyway um, that's about all I got for now uh, I'm gonna put it together or part of it and uh, I'm gonna drill other holes that I still need to do for the motors that are go here and uh, we'll make another video and, and upload it this one is gonna go live tonight just to kind of like give you guys an idea this is kind of like a fun project uh, but it's a lot of stuff and and you really have to understand that you can get hurt uh, with the props or you could hurt someone if this thing was to fly out of control and you don't know what you're doing um, just keep in mind that any type of RC you need to obey the laws locally and you have to really uh, pay attention to what you're doing um, this is not a beginners project this is I would say more of an advanced project because it's got so many motors and so many so many things that can go wrong um, but anyway um, I mean if, if you feel comfortable doing it by all means go to the hardware store and have fun I mean this is what that's what it's all about but anyways as far as the price tag on this thing so far um, I can add about 325 bucks so far plus the time I'm gonna spend putting it together I mean 300 bucks is not bad considering there's a lot of them out there that cost a lot of money um, I mean I've seen them as cheap as a couple hundred bucks but they're not gonna look like mine so anyways I can't wait to get this thing together and uh, see it flying um, one more thing I have a radio already which is not taking part of this uh, price tag uh, it's an 8 channel radio uh, that I have and I use for my helicopter um, and I also have the receiver and I didn't take that into consideration in the price tag so if you add those two together you know you're looking at another three hundred dollars pretty easily three hundred and fifty so this thing it's really not not cheap you know it's uh with the radio if you were to buy the whole thing you probably go around seven or eight hundred bucks so you may want to consider that before you get it started anyway um i'm going to continue the, this is the uh, the end of the video and then uh, once we get it together at least part of it we'll take another video and let you see how it looks okay talk to you guys soon